Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we'll do our last problem with confidence intervals when the sample size is small using the student t distribution. So, uh, a sample of four bus crashes, I know it's a little morbid, but this is a made up problem. A sample of four bus crashes show on average 49 deaths uh, in the crash with a standard deviation of 15. Now this is bus carrying people, so there's usually a lot of people on the bus. But the average over these four crashes studied is 49 people. Uh, fatalities, standard deviation of 15. Find a 99% confidence interval for the number of fatalities in a bus crash nationwide. This is also another good example of when you may not have a large sample uh, of, of, uh, of uh, data to pull from. I mean, if you only have access to this the information for these four crashes, you may not be able to have a 100 crash database to go and look at. You may not have 200 crashes. There may not even be that many crashes for you to even look at in your state or wherever it is you're looking. So in this case, we only have four crashes. We want to try to estimate the confidence interval for the number of fatalities in a bus crash at a 99% confidence level, but with such a small amount of samples, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to do. So we use the techniques with the student t distribution that we have. So let's write our information down. The sample size is simply four. And of those four bus crashes, the average number of fatalities was 49, and the standard deviation was 15. So that means some people, of course, less than 49, more than 49 uh, fatalities in those four crashes. Here's a kind of a measure of that with the standard deviation of 15. And the level of confidence is 0 0.99 because this is a 99% confidence interval, as we've said before. So now let's use this data to calculate the following. All right, well, first of all, I like to calculate the degrees of freedom first. It's very simple. It's just the sample size minus 1, which means 3, because 4 minus 1 is 3. So we just leave that there. And then we go and say alpha, which remember, we're looking at a 99% confidence level, which means if we look at our t distribution, between these points here, 99.99 is the area of everything here. So alpha is the tail area outside of that, 1 minus 0.99, which is 0.01. All right, and of course we need only half of that because our chart is set up to give us the area to the right. So alpha over 2 is 0 0.01 over 2, which is 0 0.005. All right, and ultimately what we're then trying to find is t sub alpha over 2, so we're trying to find t sub 0 0.005. That's what we really need. So what we do is we look across in the, t in the column headings of our t distribution for 0 0.005, when we find that column, we go down. Now, well, there's only three degrees of freedom in this problem, so we don't have to go down very far for three degrees of freedom. And what we find is we get 5.841, 5.841. 5 